I feel like calling this video Overwatch 2 is officially dead is a bit of a cop-out, so that's why I didn't call this video that. Because, realistically, Overwatch 2 itself isn't dead, but the spirit of the game as a whole is. If you haven't heard, it's recently been revealed that the entire reasoning behind why Overwatch 2 became a thing, PvE, has been scrapped completely. Obviously, the old formula that was in the reveal trailer a few years back got completely scrapped and reworked into the missions, but this is actually, like, the full death of PvE in Overwatch as we know it. Excluding stuff like the events and Hero Mastery because they're a little bit different. I'm going to break all of this down in a minute, but first I'm going to ask you to subscribe and leave a like on this video as I want to continue making Overwatch 2 related content that's not only entertaining, but educational too. So originally, PvE was supposed to be getting updated every 18 months, but as we know, it's officially done. As in, done for, not completed, unfortunately. This is because when the first pack of three missions released back in August 2023, Blizzard didn't reach the profit margin. I'm gonna need you to bear with me here because this stuff is a little bit boring, but it's important information you need to know because it explains why PvE went tits up. We don't have the actual stats as to how much it cost Blizzard to make, but we do know that in total, the game made roughly around $225 million last year, with most of it admittedly being from microtransactions and the Battle Pass. Now, obviously, not all of this money goes back into the game itself because they have to pay staff and do real-world stuff, basically. But that wouldn't cost the company $225 million, especially considering that Bobby Kotick, the real Oogie Boogie from from the Nightmare Before Christmas, gave the Overwatch team a big fat bonus of 0%. This isn't something I'm saying just to paint him as the villain, he literally told the Overwatch 2 team that, based on the game's poor financial performance in the first half of the year, they shouldn't have received anything, in regard to performance related bonuses. He quite literally took the money and ran. If you want a specific reason as to why PvE failed and didn't meet the profit margin, it's 100% because it was way too expensive. $15 for a pack of three missions that are about half an hour long each is asking way too much, especially in comparison to other life service games that make you pay for seasonal content. I'm going to use Destiny 2 as an example because I've played that game to death and I know a fair bit about the monetization system. In Destiny 2, they also have a season pass which you have to buy in order to access the seasonal content. The only difference between this and Overwatch 2's PvE is that Destiny 2 receives seasonal content weekly for about 7-10 to 10 weeks, and this seasonal content usually rounds out to about 30 minutes of content every week excluding everything else to do, like farming challenges. Overwatch 2's PvE was going to be $15 every 18 months for three half-hour long missions with nothing else of value to add other than weapon charms and sprays for completing them on higher difficulties, which is ultimately why it sold so poorly. This is why I called this video Overwatch 2 is no longer Overwatch 2, because the reality of it is that Overwatch 2 has actually been demoted to Overwatch 1.5. PvE was supposed to be one of the core features of Overwatch 2, it was essentially the entire reason Overwatch 2 became a thing. But now all that's changed really is the monetization system through the removal of loot boxes and the introduction of the shop system, and the battle pass. And the only new features the game got were a few major balance patches, new game modes and maps, new heroes, and new skins, including weapon skins and weapon variants. All of this stuff could have been added to the original Overwatch over the span of a few seasons, but Blizzard wanted to advertise the game as a whole new reworked game, which, in all fairness, yes, it has had some major reworks, but I'm not too sure as to whether or not it justifies them making an entire new game. But that just about does it for this video. Now, would I say that Overwatch 2 is a complete flop? No, definitely not. If we're looking at the game from a player count perspective, the game has roughly over 6 million daily players, which is nothing to scoff at. That's more than the entire population of Finland, you know, the place that makes some really cool games. If we're looking at it in terms of what it wanted to achieve as a game and in terms of what it had to offer in comparison to the original Overwatch, then yes, 
that is where the actual flop is. Myself and other creators really do shit on this game a lot, but it's from a place of love and passion for the game. We want to see it flourish, but unfortunately, that isn't going to happen because the entire idea of Overwatch 2 is dead. Anyways, thanks for watching. Once again, I'm going to ask you to like this video as it lets me know that you find these videos not only to be helpful, but entertaining. Let me know what you think about PvE being cancelled in the comments. Are you annoyed by it, or are you not really bothered? Finally, have a nice day or night if you're watching this at night, and make sure to check out my other videos. Not only will I appreciate it, but you might too.